We have breaking inputs coming in regarding uh, the Samjhauta blast case that had taken place in 2007. Uh, the next hearing, in fact, now has been set on the 14th of March. The hearing has been deferred and the reason for this, we'll get those details. Our Deputy News Editor Minakshi Banja getting us those inputs here. Uh, Minakshi, please go ahead. Some unexpected developments here that have taken place today. Well, uh, indeed, uh, sir, this is pretty much a prerogative of uh, the local court uh, in Panchkula, which is seized of the matter. We do know Swami Asimhanand uh, made an appearance today. And uh, of course, now, uh, the big news uh, is that uh, the pronouncement of the verdict hasn't uh, taken place today. As a matter of fact, uh, we have a next date of hearing, which is an adjournment uh, for a next date of hearing where uh, it is expected uh, that uh, the pronouncement uh, of uh, this contentious uh, Samjhata blast verdict uh, will take place. Of course, uh, this is a key case, uh, sir, uh, from uh, 2007 February, uh, where, where we had witnessed uh, explosion uh, in a train which runs between India and Pakistan uh, on the 18th of February 2007 uh, near Divana Panipat, mm -hmm. which had gone ahead and... Uh, resulted in the death of 68 people. And this was a case uh, which is being um, prosecuted by the NIA. And the NIA, during the course of its arguments and in the charge sheet, has blamed the entire blast on uh, Hindu right-wing leader Swami Asimanand, who was present in court today. But uh, like you rightly referred to, uh, the verdict uh, is still awaited on this one. That's right. I mean, actually, given that uh, it was uh, a much-awaited verdict, uh, this is not a recent case that we're looking at. It. It's, it's a blast that took place way back in 2007, uh, which also brought about several changes in the manner in which uh, the Samjhata Express is being run and its, and its schedule or all of ramifications that we've seen down the years. Uh, given that it was the verdict which was expected today, what has been the development in court as the reason because of which we are looking at uh, yet another date? Well, absolutely. Uh, it is the prerogative of the trial court judge to take as much time as he deems it appropriate to fine-tune his verdict. Of course, uh, we are awaiting the details of uh, why he has uh, a fixed date of March 14th uh, on his uh, possible verdict. Uh, but clearly today uh, it was slated for a hearing. Uh, there was a lot of anticipation that he would pronounce his orders on this one. Uh, but oftentimes the trial court really wants to uh, be absolutely certain and uh, come out with its verdict in a very detailed, reasonable way. Because remember, this is the first uh, verdict at the trial stage, which will uh, be also something which will be a subject matter of uh, scrutiny in superior court. So it is very much the prerogative of the judge uh, when he feels um, comfortable pronouncing his verdict. And uh, we are looking at a short date. Uh, it is uh, the 14th of March when now we are expecting orders on this one. Uh, Minakshi, uh, many thanks for getting us those details. Uh, we're also expecting a quick word here to come in uh, from the lawyer as well here on this. Uh, remember the Samjhauta blast case that took place uh, in the year 2007, uh, because of which, of course, uh, the Samjhata Express uh, was uh, temporarily put on hold. Uh, there were a lot of changes there that were done on ground with respect to uh, uh, the running of the Express, uh, the schedule and the timings uh, and all of those changes that we've seen down the years. Uh, the verdict which was expected today, that hearing has now further been deferred uh, to a couple of more days, to the 14th. Uh, listen in to the lawyer. Oh, 
Okay, there of course uh, being uh, much chaos there in uh, an illegal word that has come in here. Uh, we would be getting in uh, more details uh, in the course of uh, this hour, but it's an important point to note here that uh, this has been now further deferred to another three days, 14th of March, expectedly where perhaps we could now get in the verdict of the 2007 Samjhauta Blast case.